Hello and welcome back to The Worst Family and my base game only Let's Play Good vs Evil. So today we are going to be working on getting Jill pregnant because the problem is we are starting to take over all these houses and we don't have enough worsts to live in the houses. So we need some of these ladies to get pregnant. Um, and I'm wondering... I think maybe, uh, I don't know if I want the guys to impregnate l ladies, if that makes sense, uh, the, the woman, because I'm um, not sure if that'll, how that will affect their, yeah, their lineage and stuff, so, hmm, yeah, I was thinking that maybe it would make, it would be better if we just got the, the woman pregnant at this stage, so I'll have to think about whether or not we start impregnating the men, but I just kind of wanted to keep it you know, a little bit more in the family with the direct, with the woman, because it, I'll start that again, so because uh, it'll be women that are outside of the household giving birth, and then we would have to get rid of the mothers, and that feels kind of more evil than I'm willing to go with <laughs> at this point in time. I may get there, I don't know, but at this stage in time, Getting, uh, like, if I got Orson to get, like, some of his, uh, uh, his valentines pregnant, and, uh, then he got rid of the mothers and just kept the babies, uh, yeah, no. Not right now, I don't think. So let's have a look at Jill and whether or not we can get her, uh, pregnant with somebody's baby. Somebody's baby. Uh, now, who does she know that we can get over that we haven't already taken built out of lots of money? So the problem with Jill is obviously that she does not romance well. So this might be a bit of a challenge. Now, she has not got any one on her list. She's actually in a really good state at the moment. So we're going to get some leftovers. Jill is not in well known for her cooking. And... Uh, should we get rid of the flatmates? Um, no, I might feed I might feed them to the to the cow plant just for fun. <laughs> She's telling off the cow plant. It's great. <laughs> Does it mean that I'm going to feed them to the cow plant? <laughs> I'm asking this like it's like not. <laughs> Like a question, like it's not like a completely obvious answer. Like, yes, that is a problem. <laughs> uh, let's travel and uh, we'll find some new people to get to know. Alrighty, so we're at the Solar Flare Lounge. I thought we'd go over to Oasis Springs because uh, we haven't done that. Oh, Gerard, Gerard, we can't really do him because we... Those are our sworn enemies, and we can't attack them until we are ready in Cypress Terrace. So, you're out. Let's have a look. Who's this? Brooklyn Bowman. I don't know who you are, but we're going to have friend, a friendly conversation. Okay, Jill, you are being the worst. Go and have a friendly conversation with this poor woman. There we go. Gotcha now. That's it. Good girl. Okay, we have a compliment. We're going to ask to hang out. Uh, tell dramatic story. And this is another bird car of Broomfield, I should say. Part of the B&B &B fam. So, let's get this to green and we'll go from there. Oh, Jeffrey, you're out again. Is it Jeffrey? Yeah, it's Jeffrey. Oh ho! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That was a positive little heart. I am happy with that. Jill might be into this for once. So Brooklyn's unemployed. Mm. Well, we'll see what we can get. Um, we'll get her in the house. It's not going to get me pregnant. I forgot about that. <laughs> That was going to be part of it. Ah, oh, no, she's not into it. Okay, hang on. Brooklyn's single. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, we need to get people in the house. I really need to find someone to woohoo with, though. <gasps> what if we had a love child with one of the Burkharts? That would be amazing. Um, oh, hang on. I'm going to do one thing at a time. 
focus, Velvet, focus. So if we can get her moved into our house, I'll just get our relationship up with her. Because, I mean, she could be a really good option to get some money off. So that's fine, because we need money. Because um, when Orson moved out, he took a lot of the money with him. So, yeah. Uh, ask risky question. Jeffrey, I don't care about you. You don't have money anymore. I took all your money. Well, you already took your money. Um, pick up wine. But I do want to... Who's this? Noelle Pope. So if Jill is into the ladies and not the men, maybe we just need to splash out and get a science baby. But I fear, I want to try and do it the, the old school way of the woohooing and see, see if we can get it that way. But it might be tricky, she's so difficult to get to romance. I think she's bad at flirting, but she's getting along really well with Brooklyn. Uh, Mortimer, we haven't taken the Goths money, have we? I thought we already knew Mortimer. Obviously not. Let's see if we can flirt with Mortimer. And I don't want to don't want to get him to move in because um, I can't touch the Burkharts and Broomfields yet. Oops, what am I doing? Um. But maybe we can have that love child and get Jill to have Gerald have an affair with her while he's with Joyce. Because those two are a couple. Ooh, that would be scandalous, wouldn't it? Ooh, yes. Um, so I'm going to get them friendly. And then uh, see if we can get him. Uh, I'm not going to flirt with him yet. See if we can get him over, and uh, then then uh, get uh, impregnated by a Burkhart. That would be scandalous. Okay, so um, I think Jill's embarrassed at this point. It's from uh, good old Brooklyn there, but we, we've got Brooklyn there in the back burner in a pretty good space. So Gerald's a stay-at-home dad. Fair enough, he has got three kids. I mean, that's a lot of a lot of kids to be looking after. But then again, Jill has like five, so. <laughs> no biggie, and she works. I mean, you know, Jill's a bit of a superstar, really, isn't she? Okay, um, so I think we are in a good enough... I mean, we've got the green there, so she's not doing too badly considering how poorly she has done previously um, and she knows Mortimer as well so we can try with either of those guys and see whether or not we can get a baby out of them. My, how romantic. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a baby out of them. Oh the romance is never dead. Okay we're gonna go home now and see about inviting some people over. Alrighty we're back home so let's get the people over. Uh, invite. So let's see. Um, Gerald, let's start with you. We're just going to do one at a time and we're not going to make the same mistake as Orson in the last episode. Where uh, we had too many people and romance was difficult. Let's get Gerald, Gerald over. And we're not inviting him to live with us. Uh, this is not the goal of him. We are going to try and romance and get a baby just a baby with our enemy. It's very Romeo and Juliet. Uh, what are you doing? No, go to work. Get out of here, lady. You're only here to make some money on me. From, from, for me, I mean. <laughs> Bright and day. Okay, so let's see whether or not we can turn this little conversation into a uh, positive flirtation. I don't know if we'll be able to, because this is not Jill's strong suit. Let's go. She naturally like leans towards evil, which is not surprising given that she is evil. Oh! Was that a flirtatious little wave, was it? Uh, ask if single. He's probably going to say he is single because I haven't played that household and got the, him and his wife together, but that's all cool. Doesn't matter for the purposes of what we're doing here. 
So this is a pleasant conversation. It is focused. Everybody looks happy. Oh. Even even Jill looks happy here. Okay. So let's see if we can stop her from actually talking by herself. We oh, we've got a pink line. Yes. And Jill is actually flirty. I think that might be the first time I've seen her flirty. So this is amazing. Oh no. What was that? Okay. She doesn't like that. Whatever that is. So let's keep going. What? So she's in a flirty mood though, so I mean this is excellent. They're holding hands. <gasps> First kiss. Jill, you can do it. You can do it, Jill. <gasps> Steamy exchange. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. How romantic. I love this. Okay. Um, blow a kiss. Oh no. Who's that? Get out of that bed. That's our love bed. That's our bed of love. Try for baby. Yes. Let's do it. Come on, you two. There's a bed waiting for you. Let's get in it. We've got a baby to make. Yeah. Uh, and I'm thinking we're going to need money for a baby, right? So maybe we'll see whether or not we can get Brooklyn over. And uh, take her money. Oh, I'm so pleased. That was a lot easier than I thought. I thought it was going to be so difficult to get her pregnant. But, uh, no. Gerald has been very helpful from the enemy family. <laughs> we did it! Alright, pregnancy test time. Woohoo! She's eating for two. We did it! We are the winners of the pregnancy game. Uh, oh, we don't want to be a boyfriend. Passionate kiss with the cow plant in the distance. That's so romantic. <laughs> uh, oh, you can eat the cake, thanks. There we go. Okay. Catch you later, Gerald. Send home. So, we are eating for two. That is brilliant. Mission complete. We've got another baby on the way. Um, and let's see if we can, what happens with this particular cake incident. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Come on. You're going to eat the cake. I want you to eat the cake. Ha ha! <gasps> Will you be spat out? Will you be spat out? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's always hilarious. It will never not be hilarious to me. Okay, so that was way easier than I thought. So we've got a baby on the way there. Um, so we need to invite over while we're flirty. Invite, invite, blah, blah, blah. invite to hang out Brooklyn and see whether or not we can get her to move in. Because we can ask her to move in. She's not one of our sworn enemies. Let's see. And I mean, she's going to be happy. Jill's in her underwear. Off a rose. We're still very flirty, so let's see what we can get happening with this lady. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Um, I think we probably need to be friendlier. Uh, share big news. Sexy pose. Kiss hands. Confess attraction. Uh, discuss interests. So we're pretty flirty. We can't move in yet. Okay. Um, we'll just. I think we need to get our green line up a little bit more. Okay, so it's still going up. Let's go. Oh, let's have a kiss. Jill, you are getting so much romance this, for this episode. Oh my. Wilson and Jill. Uh, let's woohoo. It's like the cow plant is watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we ask her to move in yet? Friendly. Oh, no, not complaints. No, not yet. Okay, green line, green line. Come on, I've got to work on the green line. <laughs> green line, let's make this happen. Uh, tell a funny 
story. Not you're getting tired. You know, you're eating for two now, Jill. You're going to have limited energy for the next little while. So let's take advantage uh, and get this relationship sorted so we can invite you to live here, Miss Brooklyn Bowman. Friendly? Are we friendly enough yet? No. Oh dear, Jill is very stinky. Ooh, look at that hygiene need. Uh oh. Can we? Yes, there we go. Ask the join household. Woo ah, Myla is having fun with him. I'm going to see if we can get her fed to him. Ah, you two. So romantic. How much money? We're probably only going to get the starter amount of 20,000, but that's good. I'm, I'm happy with 20,000 because I'm running on 3,000, so hey. Uh, what if we move these two out? Um, oops. Okay. Boom, easy. Okay, so I've made the other two homeless because I am horrible and uh, we've got Jill pregnant and she is currently living with Brooklyn who we took 20,000 simoleons off and uh, we will try and aim and send her to the cow plant the greatest place in the world and see you later Myla and the other one I forgot the name of <laughs> already so I think mission accomplished there well done, Jill. I think maybe let's go check on uh, Jodie for a minute. Uh, see how her pregnancy is coming along. Because I have no idea how pregnant she is. But Jodie is not even showing yet. So let's go see her. I mean, Jill is not even showing yet. So let's go see Jodie. <gasps> what? We've had a baby already? What? Let's have a look. Ah! Look at that little bobber. Oh, that's so cute. Good job, Jody. Um, let's go and let's age. Can't age up yet. Oh, not eligible to age up. That's okay. Oh, I didn't even know that she had her baby. <laughs> that happened so fast. <laughs> On a blink of an eye. Oh, my. So we're going to have another worst to move around. Oh, what's her name? Trinity! Aww! That's a cute name. Aww. Trinity Worst. I uh, wonder what... Oh, we can't see the traits or anything yet till we age up. We can age up now. Brilliant! Let's age our Trinity up. Oh, Wow! Look at that! All these things just are happening in the background and we didn't even know. <laughs> I actually think Jodie's going to be a great mum. She's a good big sister, really. She's just terrible with men. Aww. I do love the babies in this game. I really do think... I am thinking about... Um... Mm, gourmet fruitcake over there. Thinking about doing the 100 baby challenge. I, I, but I am a bit worried that it'll do hate me. It'll make me hate the babies in this game. <laughs> so, I don't know. Let's age up our baby! Whee! Oh, that means we need to get a infant bed. Infants! A world of discovery, communication and play is waiting to be attained. Well, I mean, I think the intense baby is really the one that we have to go for, eh? For this one. Ah, So cute! Whoops! Whoa, she can sit up already. That is an amazing infant. Wow. Normally infants can't... Can't... I, is that... Is she... Is she an infant? Yeah. Wow, she just instantly set up. That's amazing. Sorry, I'm flabbergasted. Normally it takes them like ages to be able to do that. You have to do like tummy time and stuff. Wow. Um, right, so we need a bed. A bed for our little infant. A crib, a crib, a crib, a crib, a crib. Well, we've got a little girl. And, um, yeah, there we go. Thank you. I'm glad you moved. So let's pick up 
and play peekaboo and um, give you some food little baby and then I think maybe we'll have another baby so where is our and she can crawl what is with that she just aged up and can do all these things <laughs> oh. all right Jody you and uh, what's his name Malcolm you can have another baby Try for a baby. We're gonna have so many babies. Um, we're gonna need a bigger house though. But we've got 101,000 simoleons. We can't move though until we have another worst to go in this house, which means we need one of the teenagers in the BFF house to go into this house. So. Let's go and see, once we've had this baby, oh, she's so cute. I can't believe, like, she's doing all these things, though. That's so weird. Like, how? You went from a newborn to an infant, and you can, like, scoot around and everything. That's amazing to me. Because I know how much work it takes to get a baby doing these things, and it doesn't happen that way. She just kind of fell over there. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> oh, okay, right. So we're going to get Jodie pregnant as well. So Mama and Jodie are going to be pregnant. Mama Jill and... I guess Mama Jodie now. Aww. Cute. Alright, give baby um, some food and then we're going to go take our pregnancy kiss. Uh, pregnancy test. Oh my, me and my words. I guess, oh yeah, no, we've got our potty in there. I did remember to put a potty in there. Eating for two! Hip hooray! Another baby on the way. How are you crawling already? Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Malcolm doesn't look all that happy. <laughs> okay, let's quickly pop over to see uh, the BFF household. I want to see how old the other teenagers are. Because I want these guys to move out uh, to one of the houses in the next neighbourhood. Possibly the Love household. Because I think we've just about got enough money for that. And maybe I could get Jody to seduce someone. And get some more money. And um, yeah. That could be cool. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the worst household. On the way here, I checked how much we need for the love household. So that's 108,000 simoleons. We're sitting on 101,000 simoleons with Jody. So we can definitely do that in the next episode if we can uh, find someone else to move into Crick Cabana and get rid of them. So Orson is having a good time, but he should be at work. Orson, you naughty boy. You can go to work, thank you very much. Uh, right, so let's have a look at our teenagers and see what we're doing. Uh, aging. So we've got 11 days to age up. Now I know we can move them out as teenagers, but I want to wait until we're uh, young adults before we're allowed to move out. So yeah. 11, 12 and 13. Okay, so not too far away, but not close enough to allow me to instantly move them out like I was kind of hoping <laughs> so we've got Jodie here uh, she's on 101,000 we can move her out at uh, 108,000 so next episode I think we will get her seducing people and making a bit more money uh, and maybe we will get Dennis making some money too and maybe we, we could check in on Jill and see how her pregnancy is going because uh, it just happens so quickly it really does. I kind of want to move the cow plant out as well and put it in like um, in the BFF household lot so that maybe we can get some of girl, uh, Orson's girlfriends. Yeah, I really need Orson making some money too. So it might be all about making money in the next episode and uh, having babies. So that's exciting because Jodie's pregnant again, Jill's pregnant and... I need the other two female teenagers to age up and then we can get them pregnant too. 
that sounds kind of horrible <laughs> so that's on par with the worst family so let's leave it there and you can catch me in the next episode so subscribe to my channel velvet b on youtube that would be wonderful i'd love to have you there and if you're already subscribed thank you so much i'm on the gallery velvet b twitter velvet byt youtube velvet b i mean tiktok and velvet b also youtube so velvet b everywhere thank you for watching again i really appreciate it see you next time bye